First this, God created the heavens and earth. All you see and all you don't see, earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird above the watery abyss. God spoke light and light appeared. God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day. He named the dark night. It was evening, it was morning, day one. God spoke sky in the middle of the waters, separate water from water. God made sky. He separated the water under sky from the water above sky. And there it was. He named the sky the heavens. It was evening and it was morning. Day two. God spoke separate. Water beneath heaven gather in one place. Land appear. And there it was. God named the land earth. He named the pooled water ocean. God saw that it was good. God spoke earth green up grow all varieties of seed-bearing plants, every sort of fruit-bearing tree, and there it was. Earth produced green seed-bearing plants, all varieties, and fruit-bearing trees of all sorts. God saw that it was good. It was evening, it was morning. Day three, God spoke lights, come out, shine in heaven's sky, separate day from night, mark seasons and days and years, lights in heaven's sky to give light to earth, and there it was. God made two big lights, the larger to take charge of day, the smaller to be in charge of night. And he made the stars. God placed them in the heavenly sky to light up earth and oversee day and night, to separate light and dark. God saw that it was good. It was evening, it was morning, day four. God spoke swarm ocean with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over earth. God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters, and every kind of species of flying bird. God saw that it was good. God blessed them, prosper, reproduce, fill ocean. Birds reproduce on earth. It was evening, it was morning, day five. God spoke earth generate life, every sort and kind, cattle and reptiles and wild animals, all kinds, and there it was, wild animals of every kind, cattle of all kinds, every sorts of reptile and bug, God saw that it was good, God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature, so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of the earth, God created human beings, he created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created the male and female. God blessed them. Prosper. Reproduce. Fill earth. Take charge. Be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air. For every living thing that moves on the face of the earth. Then God said, I've given you every sort of seed-bearing plant on earth and every kind of fruit-bearing tree. Given them to you for food or to all animals and all birds. Everything that moves and breathes. I give Give whatever grows out of the ground for food. And there it was. God looked over everything he had made. It was so good, so very good. It was evening, it was morning, day six.